To set up your Toughtech F800E fireproofing pump, make sure the power is off. Plug in sprayer to a compatible voltage source. Make sure the packing nut is half full of throat seal liquid, or TSL. Check if inlet tube assemblies are clean. Clean if necessary. Connect air supply to applicator. Attach hose to pump outlet and attach applicator. Secure straps around cam lock fitting. Flush the system with water before using. Place applicator outlet in a waste container. Turn power on and set three-way switch to run. Turn the speed control up slowly to increase flow until water exits the applicator. To stop dispensing, turn speed control down until it stops. Turn the three-way switch to stop. Mix the material per manufacturer's instructions. Fill the clean hopper with material to be sprayed. Place applicator outlet in a waste container. Turn power on and set three-way switch to run. Turn the speed control up slowly to increase pressure until water is purged out and a steady stream of material flows from applicator. To stop dispensing, turn speed control down until it stops. Install a tip onto applicator. The system is now primed and ready to spray. Turn on atomizing air and adjust the needle valve on the applicator. Turn power on and set three-way switch to run. Set speed control to achieve desired flow. To shut down, First flush the system thoroughly with water. Start by relieving pressure using the following steps. Turn the speed control knob counterclockwise until it stops. Turn the three-way switch to stop. Remove the applicator tip and tip retainer. Slowly open the fluid drain purge valve at the pump outlet and drain material into a waste pail. Place applicator outlet in a waste container. Turn three-way switch to run. Turn speed control knob clockwise slowly to increase pressure until a steady stream flows from applicator. When the material level in the hopper is within a few inches of the material inlet at the bottom, scrape the material down the sides of the hopper. Fill the hopper with water as the material runs out and continue dispensing. Keep the hopper filled with water while dispensing. When water begins to exit the applicator outlet, Turn the three-way switch to stop. Clean the hopper and inlet tube assemblies with water. Ensure less than two to three inches of water remain in the hopper and remove the inlet tube assemblies and thoroughly clean both assemblies to remove all leftover material or sediment. Clean the hopper walls and outlet so no material remains in the hopper. Once the hopper and inlet tube assemblies are clean, reattach the inlet tubes. Fill the hopper with clean water Turn the three-way switch to run and open the fluid drain purge valve to flush out any material. Once the water appears clean, close the fluid drain purge valve. Turn the three-way switch to stop. Flush out the remaining material with hose clean-out balls. The balls must be wetted down before inserting. Remove the applicator from the end of the hose. Remove the smaller diameter whip hose. Remove the hose from the pump outlet and place a larger clean-out ball within the hose inlet. Reattach the hose to the pump outlet and turn the three-way switch to run to resume flushing the hose. The hose clean-out ball will be pushed out of the hose after a minute or two. Once the ball is pushed through the hose, turn the three-way switch to stop. Place smaller clean-out ball in smaller diameter hose and reattach. Turn the three-way switch to run to resume flushing the hose. Once the ball is pushed through the hose, turn the three-way switch to stop. Repeat the entire process until clean water flows from the hose outlet. Dispose of all waste material in accordance with local rules and regulations. See Manufacturer's Safety Data Sheet for additional information. Turn off power 
and your system is now safely shut down.